previously on the Omen podcast. Oh, this is just a standard uh, health and safety form for all of you to sign. Wonderful. All right, Isher, it's it's your turn. Oh, I haven't been out here for a long time. <laughs> Hi, guys. Interesting. You've got some nerve being here, Isha. Synergy wants your head on a platter. Well, Synergy can go fuck herself. You see Knife Dog run out from behind the back of the um, IHOP. The IHOP then explodes and out comes uh, a two-legged uh, lizard creature. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. You plunge your straw into the little sort of scar mark on the back of its neck uh, and you start sucking Mm -hmm. but then you feel something like large and metallic come through the straw and into your mouth not the first time um it's a control chip we put them in all the dragons keeps Ah. them real nice and controllable what will happen next let's find out in this episode of Oben. So the group of you make your way to the hotel. May I have a small interruption? Go on. I take Macklem aside and I say, hey, you aren't one of those suits, are you? Um, I mean, I wear a suit occasionally, but I'm not a member of the board or any, uh, I'm just the head researcher here. Why? You aren't a demon. You're cool. You're cool. You just do cool stuff. Yeah, sweet, awesome, cool science (laughs) magic. At a certain point, I'm wondering if there's something trying to keep us from seeing Opal. So what if us, this group of people who have saved the world, made you a part of the group? Oh, really? And we all did a midnight jaunt and saw Opal. Oh, well, that certainly sounds fun, and it is breaking a few rules, which... He looks around. As a cool person, you're totally into, right? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I've heard that's what cool people do. I, I, I come to my companions and I say, we've got this awesome new member of this trio, now a quattro. Do I get like a card or a badge or something? Well, so a whole lot of people are going to die around you and you're not going to face any consequences. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, no, I'm all right with that. So he's going to take us to see Opal at night, because frankly, I think that there's something suspicious going on. Oh, there most assuredly is. And if you are all interested, I would like to find what it is. I'm not particularly, but if I don't go, you're all going to get yourself killed. It sounds like we're breaking rules, but I guess I'll go along. The group of you go to the hotel uh, and you chill there for a while. Uh, and then uh, as night falls, uh, you all... Meet up in the lobby. Uh, are you going to have another margarita? Or are you going to continue? <laughs> Definitely. I'm an alcoholic now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You okay. You grab. You grab. An, you grab a margarita. You've been. You've been in the bar. You've been in the bar for hours. Everyone else comes down and meets you in the bar. Looking for something to compliment, I say, your alcoholism is coming along nicely. Thank you. I've been working very hard on it. And the group of you uh, then leave through the hotel doors, and you make your way to uh, outside Opal's exhibit. The gates are all closed and stuff right now, and there's a great big electric fence around the outside. So you can see uh, through the gate uh, into the area, and you can hear like the trees shuffling nearby um, as something is moving between them. Trees are not supposed to shuffle. <laughs> they are when something pushes against them. W- what if they're ants? Well, that would be opal. Ants? Ants. Like, we got all these fairy goblin things now. Why? I mean, trees can shuffle these days, I guess. On their own? 
dance together? I mean, there are the ants that live up in in uh, Finland, I guess, but they don't usually come to these warm climates. No, and um, during our last magical creature sweep of the island, we didn't pick up any ants. You watch as uh, this enormous purple gemstone encrusted dragon uh, makes its way up towards the fence to look at all of you. It's got a somewhat sort of like subdued, placid look on its face right now. Uh, a sort of being controlled by a control chip look. Yeah, a very much a controlled by a control chip kind of look. Okay. A uh, little bit of drool hanging out one side of its it mouth. It appears that Opal's control tri- chip is working fine, so there's nothing we have to worry about. What does the chip do? Um, It keeps them from eating and burning us alive. Or seems... burning and eating us alive. I, I, I never remember exactly the order. Some of them like it one way, some of them like it the other way. It's It's hard to keep track of with all these dragons you hear some rustling in the bushes nearby is that your dog look i don't (laughs) i don't keep track of him he does his own thing he's wild and free he has a knife i trust him to take care of himself (laughs) a torch uh lights up the area uh and out comes a guy uh it's the same guy it's it's not the it's not the demon it's the other guy who was in the um the the staff room earlier uh and he's looking at all of you and he goes hey what why are you all what are you all doing here we're breaking into the place to look at the thing. You don't need... What, why would you be breaking in? Oh, well, I mean, I was just going to use my key card to get them in, but um, they seem pretty intent on, like, really breaking the rules. You know, like, cool people. <laughs> you recognize this person. Okay. This is Jin Ru, the head of IT. You don't get on well with him. Dick. <laughs> Does he look like Newman from Seinfeld? No, uh, he, he's, he's got, like, short... Uh, cut black hair uh, with a little ponytail on the back um, and uh, he's got he's quite scruffly um, and has uh, a pair of glasses that are sort of blue tinted blue he's just sort of like out for a stroll it seems what are you doing out here I just came to check the fences likely story we've had some power outages overnight mm, sure what are, you, what are you guys doing here? You, you, you're actually, you're, you're, are you actually going to try and break into Opal's well I'm trying to exhibit? socialize and make new friends Stephen why are you acting like that? What? All we get are the lab assistants to be friends with, and none of them are cool. Steven deserves friendship. Oh, all right, then. He deserves people who will take advantage of his ability to access high security areas and think that he's cool. I think he's cool. Oh, thanks. Any Anyone who's friends with Annabelle St. John has to be cool, right? Wait, what? Don't bring me into this. I mean, it's only my life's dream to be cool. You're the, uh, you're the, um, that, 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 uh, the angel lady, aren't you? Nope. Okay, all right, whatever. Uh, Do you guys want to come into this exhibit then? I guess we can go in for a little while. Like I said, I was going to let them in. We don't need you here. I mean, unless you want to come along. I feel like I should make sure that you guys don't get into any trouble. Well, you're just the IT manager. Steve, I don't trust your abilities to, like, do anything other than your weird cloning stuff. I, I don't oh, cool. trust cool, your cool, ability cool. to deal with anything cool, cool, else. Cool, 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 no doubt. All right. Look, we can if we can be a, a quattro as koala says, I'm sure we can be a, a quinto too. By all means. He opens up the gate with his key card, his all access key card that he's got for his for the IT stuff. Uh, and he is sitting down just repairing the fence, uh, changing some uh, shut, like uh, breaker boxes in the fence. By all means, go 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 say hi to Opal and uh, we're going to have to go in a little while, but just just feel free to say hi to her. Is Knife Dog with us? Annabelle, is Knife Dog with you? I don't know where Knife Dog is, but it's not with us. <laughs> <laughs> knife Dog is off somewhere. Mugging someone in a dark alley. Yeah. Yes. Avenging his... One of the research friends. assistants. Just He's having a drinking contest with Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drinking with a dog in Margaritaville. Drinking it under the table in Margaritaville. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Opal uh, wanders through the bushes and she comes up to all of you. Uh, she looks pretty placid uh, and she sort of like is eyeing you up to work out who or what you are because she's never seen you before. Jin goes up to uh, Opal and just sort of like pats her on the nose and goes, it's all right, it's okay, they're, they're not going to hurt you, it's fine. Don't worry. I say hello. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Opal looks at you, uh, Annabelle, you look at um, Opal and, and you see like a, a glint of um, knowledging and understanding what you just said, but then it quickly fades. Oh. Does, does Opal have wings? Opal does have wings. You can see that at the back, they're, they're painfully cl- 
clipped. We clip all of our dragon's wings to keep them from flying away. I mean, the extra cost of fencing above them and just keeping them trapped in it was too high. So, I mean, no expenses were spared, of course, but those expenses were a bit much. Aren't most, like, dragons in stories supposed to be intelligent? Like... You can talk to them and they give you magic swords and stuff? Oh, those are just myths and legends. Yeah, says Jin. Jin goes, fairy tales those are. Yeah. But they are beautiful. Also lucrative. Mm. I want to pull my wings out so that I can have a bonding moment with Opal. <laughs> Opal's eyes light up as your wings like extend from your back. Uh, Jin also is taken quite aback by this. And Opal sort of like rears back and opens up. Uh, what's left of her wings uh, to sort of mimic you. We're going to have a bonding moment and then... Yep. And now um, I'm going to do a bad. Go on. I'm going <laughs> to uh, see if I can reach out and touch her and lay on hands. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh. Go for it. Oh, that is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that is a four. I don't think it has yeah, any, it ne- do any negative effects. There's no negative effects. Awesome. Well, no, I'd say that um, you, you go up to uh, Opal... And you, you touch her uh, on her snout, uh, and then she feels like the magic coming from you, and it panics her, and she runs off back into the bushes. I'm gonna put my wings away and feel sad about myself. I was gonna pet the dragon. Jingo, you, you guys better get to bed because we're gonna be opening up tomorrow. It's getting late. <sighs> All right. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> is, well, Margaritaville is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because it's always five o'clock somewhere. It is. It's weird because we haven't even, we don't really open till tomorrow, but they've got the Margaritaville open. Gigi just loves yes, to drink. Actually, uh, right now it is five o'clock in uh, Tunsnia, according mm. to this armload of watches I have for every time zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're all set to win it to go off when it's five o'clock somewhere. We take Margaritaville very seriously here. <laughs> Do you want to go for some drinks then? No, I'm I, I'm not an alcoholic. I am. I lead the way. <laughs> okay. You spend the rest of the evening uh, as it gets into the wee hours of the morning drinking at the 24-hour Margaritaville, uh, which does surprisingly good margaritas for low, low prices. Drinking a lot. Uh, they sponsor us. Can, yeah. Can everyone please roll a d10? <laughs> okay. This is how many margaritas we're drinking. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I rolled a 10. <laughs> oh, I'm not drinking. Do I have to roll? Uh, you're not drinking. You're fine then. Anyone who's drinking needs to roll. Oh, and what I said about being not being an alcoholic was a complete lie. Uh, roll a d10 to see how much you drink, if you're drinking. Are you drinking? The thing is, I'm uh, I'm in recovery. Um, That's true. I There was a point where I was deeply addicted to man- amphetamines, to uh, <laughs> drinks of various kinds. Uh, some, like, there was, I was really into, like, high-performance lubricant oil... Just to be clear, to- just to be clear, we're saying you're saying this whilst we're sitting at the margarita yes. little table. Everyone's <laughs> watching you. I was at the. I, I I would go to motor stores, and eventually they just stopped selling. Selling. I'd be like, but my car really needs high performance, high octane oil. That brand specifically, and they'd be like, no. And be like, I would scream, it's like my Grey Goose. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot of things I'm putting behind me, uh, including. Except for a slight relapse earlier today. Margaritas. Okay. So no margaritas for you? You're just going to sit there and watch? Are you having water? Are you having cranberry juice for your UTI? Have a quesadilla. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I've, tr- I've transitioned. I'm in that stage of recovery where I've gotten really into eating, into other flavors in my mouth. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just chomping down on several Jimmy Buffett quesadillas. Lovely. Okay. That sounds good. Um, the group of you uh, while away the rest of the night uh, and then in the morning uh, Dr. Martin you have the hangover of all hangovers hair of the dog even Isha can feel it <laughs> is, 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 is damage taken? no 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 no. they just got a bloody headache right now um, and so does Steve Steve has a, a massive headache he should not have been doing that <laughs> because uh, the group of you uh, 
find yourself woken up really early by Penelope and she takes you all down to a stage that's been set up just outside the visitor center and there's a bunch of people standing behind a uh, sort of guide rope at the minute like hundreds and hundreds of of poor innocent people all standing there looking like really edible uh and they're looking at you guys uh and they're like people are pointing and going oh look at that that's, that's Annabelle there's Annabelle right there and you're standing on stage and everyone's standing on stage looking really really like uncomfortable and Gigi comes out uh, wearing yet another outfit this one is bright purple um, and is, is is covered in feathers and it's it's somewhat similar to Opal like it's like she's designed the fa- like the, the, the outfit based on Opal and she comes up and goes good morning everyone today we will open Fire Island this is a place where all of you can enjoy dragons back from the dead after thousands and thousands of years. There were other ways to enjoy dragons before then, through specialty sites, but now you can enjoy them in yet another way. Thank you, Koala. Uh, we, uh, she pulls the microphone away from you very quickly. And goes, we are here uh, to celebrate not only this, but also an anniversary of magic kind being free. Some of you in the audience are not human. I am not human. I am an elf. Penelope over here, she is a fairy. We all exist here, and so do dragons now. And I'm looking forward to all enjoying the magic. Yes, and they're definitely not just dinosaurs with wings taped on. That is slanderous lies. Shh, shh, shh. We, we will now hand over to our head researcher, Dr. Stephen Malcolm. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have interrupted. Ah, I forgot that I was going to give a speech today. Yes. It's fine. I will talk to you later about this. Don't worry about it. Ah, welcome. welcome. Sorry, everyone. Teething problems. These kind of things happen, you know, in, in, in the opening of things. Teething problems. Disneyland failed in its first day as well. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's good this is just our uh, trial run dress rehearsal kind of a thing, right? It is not a trial run. This is the final version. Oh, shit. I, I mean, uh, welcome, everyone. Um, Do your speech. Well, I was going to write something for this when I it was the official grand opening day, and I thought this was the uh, trial run, so I could just cu- get up here and say like, dragons are cool. They fly around and shoot fire, uh, and you guys wouldn't care because it, it would just be you know like a trial thing. But now that I'm actually here in front of all of you, I find myself uh, inspired by your support of dragons. And uh, my brilliant ineptitude, wait, my brilliant aptitude, aptitude, thank you. You can feel (laughs) daggers in the back of your neck from Gigi. Uh, My Uh, my brilliant aptitude aptitude for for magical magical science science, uh, and cloning cloning dinosaurs, dinosaurs. that That is what what I did before before this, this, and and that's that's why why I just need to reiterate reiterate one one more time, time. not Not dinosaurs dinosaurs with wings wings taped on. Definitely Definitely real real dragons, dragons. 100%. 100%. Got the the blood blood from from amber, amber, um, from from ancient ancient magic magic amber, amber, and and did some cloning cloning stuff. stuff. Tell tell us more about the process. I want to hear Um, exactly how we got to dinosaurs. That isn't a trade secret or anything, right? Um, um, possibly. Uh, The demon guy goes, no, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Go, Go for it. It's fine. Ah, perfect. perfect. Yes. Yes. So, So, um, we we took took dinosaur dinosaur DNA DNA and we cloned that. Well, we we extracted extracted it from bugs that were encased in amber. Um, you know the time old story of cloning dinosaurs. But uh, what we found in one of our dinosaur amber blood egg uh, extractions was that um, it, w- this blood was not strictly dinosaur blood, and uh, so when we cloned that one, we got a dragon. And, um, well, we just keep hoping for the best, and we keep finding more dragons. Uh, yes, um, some would say... Listen, I've been in those pens because he let us in last night when we weren't supposed to see it, and let me tell you, these are totally not dinosaurs with wings ta- taped onto their backs. Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. See, I have a corroborating witness. <laughs> Gigi grabs the mic and goes, well, there we go. <laughs> that is the speeches for today. I would like all of you to 
enjoy the park. We have a Margaritaville. We have a Pizza Hut. Uh, we do not currently have an IHOP. It is currently being renovated. Uh, it will be it fine. It was stabbed by uh, a dog with a knife. It, it, it wasn't hit. It, 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 was, it was, it was, there was, a, there was an accident yesterday. It, everything is fine, though. Uh, they let dogs the just run around, around here with the food. Please enjoy the visit. Please enjoy. Koala. Koala. Please enjoy the visitor center. Please enjoy the theme park we have. Uh, the roller coaster, the double dragon, is is amazing. Uh, and uh, uh, make sure that you check into your hotel before four o'clock because uh, the the booking uh, the check-in desk is closed at four o'clock. Okay. Thank you. At that point, like a fanfare plays, and Penelope gets up and hands Gigi a large pair of scissors. Uh, and she walks up and she cuts the ribbon that's stopping people from coming in and all the guests start to flood into the park uh, and Gigi looks around and goes Stephen yes that was terrible I mean I've never been so embarrassed in my life I, I've never done one of these before and I don't think I did too badly um, for a first time so if I wasn't wearing blusher I would be very red right now mm. well I am the only person in the world who can do what I do. So, I mean, are you going to fire me for it or, like, are no. we cool here? No, I'm not going to fire you for it. Everything's fine. Don't worry about All it. Right. Annabelle, uh, so there are some guests who will want to see you. Are, you. are you fine doing some autographs? Well, I guess. Thank you, Annabelle. Uh, uh, quick question. Why don't any of the guests want to see the other Two. I thought they all saved the world. Yeah, one one of them has big golden wings. I mean, good point. Yeah, those are pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. And about could you bring could you bring the things out for us, please? The, the, the things. Yeah, the things. The things. The things. The wings. The wings. The 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 kings. The the kings. The kings. Well, I don't I don't have a king. The wings. Well, the big golden wings. Uh, kings of Leon. Have you, have you, uh, if you go on spot, like, you know, two princes stand before you, like, she wants you to sing. I can't. She wants you to sing. She wants to sing. Annabelle, do the thing sing. The sings uh, thing. The thing sing. Uh, she's clearly saying uh, the wings, guys. The rings thing, I think. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. I didn't know Margaritaville had wings. No, it does not. It's fine. Don't worry. Come with me, uh, and I'll get you to do some signing and some signatures. I mean, that was just a lie. Margari- Margaritaville has some very tasty <laughs> wings. Gigi, she, she daggers. You can get them in Buffalo. You can get them in Jer- Jamaican Jerk. You can get them in uh, Honolulu Pineapple. Available at low and affordable prices. <laughs> Margaritaville. A better way to cook. Uh, no. Um, ma- the... The uh, Gigi uh, puts her arm around you, Annabelle, and then uh, pulls you off the stage and a bunch of people follow you <laughs> and she takes you to the visitor center and there's actually uh, a signing booth set up for you with, uh, you know that photo you don't like? All of them? Yeah. All of them, yeah. They're all, there's like photos on the desk for like five dollars uh, and there's the big photo of you. The one that you really don't like is like blown up really big behind <laughs> you and it says, come see Annabelle St. John. The Angel of Egypt. <laughs> Yay. I'm okay to leave you here for a couple of hours, yeah? Hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Have you seen the queue? And there's like a big queue that goes up and around and out and as far as you can see. Annabelle dies a little on the inside. Uh, everyone, Annabelle is here. She will be uh, taking autographs for the next couple of hours. Feel free to ask her anything you want. Real, re- real probing questions. I'm sure she is an open book for all of you. I'll see you later, Annabelle. Don't uh, worry. You're doing, you're doing amazingly. Don't worry, darling. Uh, Gigi walks off. Dr. Martin and uh, Koala and Steven, you are still standing on the pedestal. What do you want to do uh, for the day? Oh, uh, Dr. Martin is asleep. Uh, Isher is steering right now. So wait, <laughs> so wait. When you, when you get a hangover, you just have, like, the demon, like, the demon takes over? So you have, like, distributed ways of handling the hang- that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds convenient. When I'm sleeping, the the, the demon is like reading law uh, law articles on Wikipedia. So. <laughs> I need to get possessed by a demon. Uh, Doctor Steve says, "Um, so now that the uh, park is officially open, um, you guys saw Opal. Do you want to see some really cool shit?" 
really cool shit from a really cool friend. <laughs> well, M- Martin's not here to stop us. Why don't I uh, show you our laboratory where we actually clone the dinosaurs? Wouldn't that be cool? Sounds like a cool idea from uh, I'm in. Cool Steven. I'm starting to get a little bit suspect of how many times you've referred to me as cool. Uh, but it's obvious how cool you are. I mean, in my research, though... People don't tend to say it that often. But, I mean, that is just academic research and not real-life uh, work. And, and academic research is, as we all know, incredibly uncool. Yeah. Wait, it is? Yeah. Well, I thought being really smart was That's cool. That's what they tell you in school oh. to convince you to pay. Yeah, fees. all my teachers always told me that, and they told me I was the coolest kid in school. Yeah, see... Now, there's another phrase called too cool for school, and that is the deepest truth that they didn't convince you of, that you are worthy of being more than a person inside four walls. You, you can have as many walls as you want. You can be in all the walls. That's why I always recommend kids don't go to school, go to prison. That's where you'll learn some real shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not where I was expecting that to go. <laughs> that was no... <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> um, well, I don't plan on going to prison. Um, I've, at least I think I've taken enough steps to keep me out of prison at this point. But that's ne- neither here nor there. Um, my laboratory, would you like to see it? Absolutely. I'm sure Martin will be very pleased when he wakes up. Do you want to go get Annabelle? Do you want to try and save her? Yeah, I think we should bring Annabelle along. She can't just be stuck grading papers or whatever she's doing when you're famous. <laughs> you all go to the visitor center and you see that the line has not gotten any shorter. Annabelle is currently being quizzed by a uh, sort of like 14 year old kid who's going like I've been looking at your wings on, on the internet and it looks like they wouldn't be able to carry you. How do you, how do you fly? Well, I fly when all of y'all believe in me. And that's how I get my powers. I don't believe in that kind of nonsense. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of facts and logic, and I'd like to know how you actually fly. Isher, like, marches up on the stage and goes, Annabelle, we need you for an important <laughs> mission. Something terrible is happening. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Fuck you, Siri. <laughs> an important mission? Oh, but not like, um, um, not like terrible in the sense that anybody's in danger here. Um, hey, don't, like... There's a lot of people in here. Don't cause a panic. Uh, I will showboat slightly and use my angel wing thing, which is technically a teleportation. Yeah, it is. Um, That is true. Whoa, cool. Cool. Actually, oh, it's literally not possible for me to succeed this, is it? (laughs) Clearly not. Is it? No, it should be. Be fine. No. (laughs) So. (laughs) It's a four. No. Uh, please, Please stay longer. Please. Please, we, we want to see more wing stuff. And they will start chanting, wing stuff, wing stuff, wing stuff. Oh, wait, no, I can, I'm going to spend will, or not will, uh, luck. Luck. Wrong system. Yes. I'm going to spend one luck yep. to make it work. Go for it. Okay, you spend a luck, uh, and you gather everyone together, and you lift off the ground, and everyone's like, whoa! Uh, and you fly them out of the visitor center, and you are now outside the visitor center, uh, and you're making your way uh, towards uh, the gates uh, and that is where Jin Ru comes up to you and he is looking quite panicked uh, and he goes up to Stephen and goes Stephen, we got a problem um, that doesn't sound good The Omen Podcast is powered by Monster of the Week. If you like what you're hearing, please rate us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. 
You can tweet to us at the hashtag OmenCast. That's O-M-E-N cast. And who knows, maybe we'll name a character after you. Please spread the word about the podcast. Every new fan helps. Consider joining our Discord. Links are on the Twitter. And if you really like us, consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you for listening. And remember, stay vigilant. You never know what's out there.